Alright Soul Shines, my name is Michelle. Welcome to another Creative Expressions video. It's been a week. Um, I do have some notes that I will probably be referring to. If you can hear the dog outside of the door, I apologize. Hopefully everything's recording. Seriously, dog. Okay, so what's what? I need to take a moment to turn the sound off on my computer. I mean, my phone, because I know that if I don't, I will regret it. Hey, why, why is this being extra hard? Shouldn't be so hard. Okay. So I always leave chapters on these videos so that you can jump ahead to what you want to jump to. And if I mention a pattern, I will, um, well, if I show a pattern, because sometimes I mention um, Bago Day and then don't actually put her pattern down below. Anywho, there should be links below, there should be chapters, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the Mystery Yarn Challenge. Um, so August was the anniversary and um, I need to figure out how to get some pictures of this poor little thing. Um, I had made, I've made some changes in order to qualify for, um, qualify for something. So if you haven't already done so, pause this, go watch the reveal up here and then come back because I'm going to show you what is different. One of the prizes is if you can make something and not use, or like nothing showing is it like for it wasn't in your box basically. So I had made my guy, this is my narwhal, and I had made him using safety eyes that weren't so safe. So I went back in and I've covered his eyes. And so I'm going to show you this side first. What I did was this, um, I took the same color done for the mouth. I made an eye and then for the black part of the eye, what I did was this horrible, extra big, bulky, size 7 stuff. I took the strands apart. So this is one strand. Just the strand alone is at least a bulky five, one strand alone. Yeah. And it tears, apparently. But I used this to um, go in and do his little eyeball so that he had the pupil for his eyes, did a little bit over the top, and then this part, this chain right here, comes around to his eye patch because on his other eye, he's got an eye patch. So now this narwhal is got an eye on one side and an eye patch on the other side. And so I need to hurry and get some pictures into Glory with the updates. Um, and I think I like him better this way anyway. So this is good. This is a good change. So um, that's that. Finished objects. <laughs> Oh, I was going to try out my sock blockers. Oh, well, they're way over in the corner. Here's the socks. Sorry. Ergonomic toes. Uh, they do. <laughs> no wonder they weren't working. <laughs> I had one around. They've got a fish lips, kiss heel, and shorty socks. So um, I will give them to him in October. For his birthday so it's nice to have those done ahead of time I will probably if I remember I will let you know what he thinks of the ergonomic toes so yeah um, I tried them on because I was curious and they're like this much too long for me because he's man and I've got little feet anyway but I'm pretty excited so Zach socks are done and like I said, that's a relief. They're for his birthday. And then I've got to figure out what I'm doing for him for Christmas. 
I really have got to like tunnel vision now into Christmas presents. So, um, yeah, finished objects. All right, now let's do the in betweeny projects. Let's do a snake update because today I'm actually recording this on Friday because uh, yesterday was crazy and today's crazy too and I have another video to record after this um, which will probably come out before this but anyway um, let me pull Millie out I put her in one of these organza bags to make it easier to keep her separate and safe and then in my bag of uh, my baggie my gallon baggie I have some snack baggies with the smaller bits of yarns and then sandwich baggies with other bits and so like this has my embroidery floss for birthdays and if we have an extreme day so kind of has really helped with organization so here's Millie I did not do yesterday's but I do know what color yesterday is supposed to be so I will probably do that before I take my picture because I need to update it on Ravelry today so anyway here she is she's getting to be probably like a yard I would say maybe a little bit longer I haven't measured her today so we've had some we did have a little bit cooler today and then I noticed that today today's had rain and stuff so it might go down but yesterday's day should be the darker um, burgundy color. So, yeah, we got our colors going there. She's growing. She's getting pretty neat. Uh, so today's September 1st. We've got the month of September, the month of October, the month of November, and the month of December. So she's eight months long, and we've got four months to go. And that's pretty exciting. Um, I definitely like, I think if I hold her just right there, she's entirely in the frame. Next month, um, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> so that's her. And like I said, she's with a one weight yarn. Some cotton yarns that I got from Hobie Hobby. And so they're all one weight cottons. And so that's what she looks like. And then the grandkids snakes. This is my grandson's snake. I can tell them apart really easily because um, his bow is on the bottom like a snake bow tie. And then the bow for the other one is on the top like a hair bow. And this one here is um, five and a half. Five and a half or six and a half. Maybe six and a half months old. I can't remember. And that's how long already. Okay. And then this one here is basically seven months old. And so like I said, her bow is here on the top of the head. And she is seven months old. So she's pretty long. And if I put their heads together and then pull them so that they're like this, you can see, okay, it must be probably about six and a half months, I would say. So that's just what a couple weeks worth of stitches does to the length of the snakes. Um, but it's pretty fun. They start on their birthdays and go through for, for their first birth year. So um, this one here actually is the is mostly in 2020 he was born in May of 2020 so quite the quite the year there and we had a pretty hot summer she was born in July 
So we've got her red spot is there. You can kind of look the the reds, you know, how the reds kind of compare. Um, oh, that reminds me. On his, because I saw my black t-shirt, there were a couple of days that there was no history. That the, um, for whatever reason, there is no record of what the temperatures were those days. So I did them in black, like I am doing their heads and tails. So any place where there is no data in the Wonderground history stuff, they're going to be black. So his had a couple of that. I don't know if Adel's will, so. But honestly, you couldn't really tell unless I pointed out, like, I mean, maybe one day a kid would be like, looking, why has he got black stripes here? I'll just have to ask his Lola. So those are the snakes. They're coming along. I'll let you see them again next month. Um, they should be pretty long by next month because... I am trying to work on them about four rounds a day, flipping back and forth between them. So currently I'm working on my grandson's snake, and then um, next Wednesday I'll switch back to my granddaughter's. And for a week I'll work on my granddaughter's, and then I'll switch back. And every Wednesday I switch back and forth. So in another month these should be quite a bit longer. So those are them. Now let's talk about my works in progress. I'll talk about this one because it's out here. Um, my friend, she's um, my daughter's age basically, kind of my daughter's age, a little bit older than her. She's getting married in October. I love them. I especially love her, the guy she's marrying. He is just amazing. And his favorite color is like a Hunter or forest green. He loves green. And I decided I was going to make them a garter. Not the one that they throw because I don't want, I want one that they can keep as kind of keepsake. So I'm trying. Let me tell you, sometimes I wonder about people. I told her, don't tell Ben we're doing this. Don't tell Ben about it. And yet he knows. And so when I give it to her, I'm like, it's got to be a secret. This is a secret surprise. Just tell her, tell him I couldn't figure out how to make it and it'll be a surprise. So I'm making her a garter. And I've got um, a little bit, it's kind of like got little holes in it right there every once in a while. Just because I could. Trying to learn new things. Um, so... We'll see how it works. I'm going to put, um, I'm finishing up probably about the same amount of white. And then I'm actually going to do a ruffle around it. And I'm thinking I might bind off with the green just to bring that green back in. But we'll see. So that's what's going on with those. That shouldn't take very long as long as I just work on it and get that done. Which I'm very excited about. The tithing hat, um, I will tell you in the life updates um, why this isn't very far. So I really haven't gotten very far at all. This is taking me a lot longer to get through. The first time it was because I had to keep on doing until I got the fabric I like. I do like this fabric. Um, it is different working with a bulky yarn, that's for sure. Um, so I'm excited for this and um, I think when this one's going to be one is done we're going to see if we can donate them and then go from there. We'll see. And what else am I working on? Okay. The other thing I have going on before I talk about um, kind of things I haven't been working on is I don't know if I showed this to you or not I'm making this and um, it's a geometry dash image that I'm working on I haven't worked on it a lot but 
not this weekend where it's Labor Day. This is my weekend. Next weekend, my kids will be going to their dad's and then I can work on this without fear of getting caught. And I should be able to finish this one and maybe another one. Um, we'll see how far I get. I might be able to sneak it in. It's just hard. I homeschool, so he's home all the time. But I'm really excited for this. I'm making a cube that will be his Christmas present. So now to make sure I have, I, oops, <laughs> to make sure I cover all the things, I'm going to go over to here and look. Okay, so I have not worked on my alpaca socks, but I did finish a pair of socks, so I feel good about that. Uh, I have not started back on Ewan's cardigan. I've got to decide if I want to do that. So basically, that's a decision that needs to be made. Am I actually going to make the cardigan? And if so, I need to get working on it. Um, and then I have not done anything with the fingerless gloves, but I think my goal is to do the garter and finish the garter and then start on the fingerless gloves for my daughter. And then that way I've got a pair of socks going, a possible Christmas present knitting if I do Ewan's cardigan and um, an owed something I've owed as kind of my main knit projects. So, because uh, I owe my daughter gloves for her birthday and her birthday was back a few months ago. Um, so the multivalence, I'm waiting on the clue for that. I'm excited. I have not worked on these octopus. I don't know why I just, I need to work on that. Maybe if I remind myself, I've changed my mind what I'm doing with it and now it's a Christmas present. It might give me the motivation to work on it for my grandkids. I think I've made a decision about my silk shawl because I really love the silk. The pattern's kind of pretty and could turn out really well, but the problem is it's a pattern that I literally will have to sit down with the pattern every time I make it. And that just is not a the mindset that I'm in right now. So I think what I'm going to do is frog that and find a different shawl pattern to use the silk for. And I might come back to this pattern another time when I'm not going, trying to work on a bunch of Christmas presents or something. We'll see. Um, so I think I want to do that because I do want to work on a, I want, that's my thing I'm making for myself. And so I want to work on that. And then I think, I think I'm going to bag, bag, <laughs> frog the bag o' day shawl that I was working on because I just really don't like the drape of the yarn, the texture of the yarn for this project. It might be okay in different project. I know the shawl is amazing. I don't think I want to use it for the silk, but I have some other yarns that maybe I will use that to make up for. Ooh. Maybe. So the um, Judy of Judy's Creations in Crochet, I think that's her name. I will link her down below. Um, her September Flower of the Month cow has been announced. It was announced on, on our video August 31st. And uh, I have some yarn in a color that would work perfect for that, but it was gonna make something like a shawl or something for me. So maybe I'll open that up and see if that's what I wanna do and then wait. I'll, I'll probably still frog and take the stitches out of the silk, but maybe I'll make the other shawl for myself and then cast the, or cast or crochet chain. I don't know whether I'm gonna knit or crochet a shawl from the silk. It depends on what I find. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to pull out my yarn and maybe I'll use that pattern for that or find another bag of day 
trail pattern. She's got so many. Um, or find another pattern. But I'm gonna look. Oh, or there's. I think I have some bamboo yarn as well. That's really pretty. That might match the picture. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going. What I'm gonna do is bat, um, frog the silk. And then pick one of either the bamboo or this other it's a cotton that I have that I'm pretty sure I'm not sure the bamboo matches the flowers I know this cotton does so I'll pick one of those and that's what I'll work on for the month and see if I can get that done and that will be my make for myself and then that leaves Christmas and due to the fact that um, circumstances are not allowing me to buy any more yarn right now um i am going to have to rethink all of my christmas presents for my son and his wife um i, w I wasn't really too worried about the grandkids i'll just have to but i need to like kind of really think what am i going to do for all of the people for holidays and make sure that I've got a present for everybody. It's really hard. Okay, <laughs> so my daughter, she loves candy corn. She, her favorite holiday is Halloween. And she's the same one that I made the pineapple hat for. And the pineapple hat is for Christmas. And it's really tempting to see if I have the yarn to make a candy corn hat and the reason being is because she loves it and she wants one but also because um starting today the crazy sock lady who does summer sock camp decided to have another make-along and this one's like a halloween spooky fall and it's like no particular it's just a fun make-along and it's like something Halloweeny or something fall, whether it's the yarn that reminds you of that or the the pattern or whatever. And I'm like, I want to make it, and this is like the perfect timing for it. But all the Christmas things, because I still have. Let's see, I've got Hiram's going. I have my daughter's got a pineapple hat. So she's covered. That's the thing. It's just got a present. And I have my son and his wife. I have my 18 year old and my 17 year old. Um, my 16 year old daughter. And possibly more things for my grandkids. So I already have like 8 to 11 or 12 presents that I have got to get on the ball with. So as much as much as I want to participate and as much as I think it would be the perfect opportunity to make the candy corn hat whether I had the yarn for it or not I don't even know yet I can't I can't do it I have got to stay focused it I've got to figure out what I'm going to make for every single kid. Hopefully next week I can tell you that I know exactly what I'm making for every kid, that I've checked my yarn stash and I have what I need to make for every kid. I do know another thing that I might use for Judy's creations um, as well as it, I can enter into a Fish Lips Kiss Hills contest. Um, I got red bogo yarn is it Bogo Ogo? Ogo, sorry. Bogo is buy one, get one. Okay. I had the red Ogo yarn that I received as a prize, I think it was, from Lori. Um, and I like to make my sons, I just make them a stocking for their family that I kind of put like treats and stuff in. At home, the kids all have stockings, um, but I like to make... Um, them one that they can just take and do whatever they want to with it so I may do that and that would match the flowers as well so I've got I've got I've got the things going I've got so many things going so I think that covers all the projects 
um, the plans. <sighs> so, life updates. The reason why I did not get very far in my tithing project is because Friday, I was so physically ill, I spent the entire day in bed. Um, it was something my daughter had brought into the house. She'd had it a while before. Um, I was probably the last one to get anything, so that was good. And it was my daughter and I that had it the worst, and the others just kind of mingled in between. So um, Friday was literally in bed, and then Saturday was kind of eh in bed, and sick was kind of eh. Sunday was eh in bed. And so Sunday, um, I just really didn't feel like doing a lot. Um, I did my snake updates and barely did anything. So that's why, um, we had a little incident with the water again and I had to call around people. That was super stressful because I was like, this shouldn't be off. This should have been paid for by a state program and... Um, so then I had to call the state program and the state program had to do a lot of digging to find out what happened because the bank said the money had cleared and so they found it, they applied it. So for a couple hours we didn't have water. That was stressful, but it's all good. Um, that's all good. I got hit with a whole bunch of other things because something I'd forgotten about tried to clear through my bank and so I got re I got that kind of mostly covered but it meant that an extra fifty dollars has come out of my bank in insufficient funds and I just and I'll it's just the way it is I think my girls are going to be working at a haunted house type situation. My daughter worked there last year. She enjoyed it. It's a contract deal, so they don't get paid until November. My daughter, my 16-year-old decided to join her this year, so that's pretty fun. So they'll both be working there. Um, most of the nights that they're open, they're taking a few off. My daughter's concert, uh, my daughter's boyfriend friend's birthday he's never celebrated Halloween so they're taking Halloween off and then there's one other thing so that's kind of cool um, I think we have something in the works to get my 17 year old a job and I got some information that might help me getting going on something I don't know that's I don't even want to think about that whole area um so let's talk about something more positive. I decide, I, mm, okay. In the negative part of this, my kids aren't doing their stuff. And I have not changed dinner chores and I don't plan to. I have it set so that it rotates through whose turn it is to cook, whose turn it is to wash dishes, whose turn it is to put dishes away, whose turn it is to clean off the table. Oh, take out the trash. I'm like, what did I miss? So it rotates and the thing, I finally just decided I'm not messing with that. I just, it's, I have to ride them and if I don't ride them, I have to come up with the energy to take care of it. And that's just the way it is for now. My other chores though, I was trying to rotate cleaning the bathrooms and the floors and all that kind of stuff. Just those things like the weekly maintenance kind of things. And I, with special school, uh, school's been going amazing. This is probably our best year yet. And it means not having time to do a lot of things as well. And it means not, it means it, it's not working out to have the kids helping. And I know a lot of homeschool moms can do that, but they've got different capacity than me. I decided to list out all of the weekly chores that I would need to get done in my house. And I made them on a list, and it's basically a rotating list. So 
it there's 27 things on the list and sometimes I can do more than one in a day so it could take me up to four weeks to work through the list it's more likely going to take me two and two and a half weeks and then rotate sorry about the dog so these things that in all my upbringing I was told should be weekly chores they're going to be probably done every other week and that's just got to be the way it is hold on so let me tell you it's a little frustrating I can move this back over so I can see my stuff. I I have things like clean the kit, the sink, the bathroom sink, clean the toilet, clean the tub, mop the floor. Now, a few years ago, all of those, the sink, the toilet, the tub, and the floor, in this particular bathroom would have taken me 45 minutes to do the entire thing. Cleaned well, done. It's it, 45 minutes for the whole thing. And that was if something was pretty gross. Like, it, it did not take me long. Um, two days ago, I had the capacity to clean the sink and the toilet. Yesterday, I cleaned the tub. And today, hopefully, I can mop. So what used to take me 45 minutes is now taking me three days. That's discouraging, but that's my life. And I have to give myself permission for that to be my life. Um, so it is, a, it's divided up and hopefully, you know, that was th four days on my list, four numbers on my list. It's taking me three days. Uh, dusting each time I dust a room I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to do more than just the dusting that day um, I'll probably do dusting and vacuuming so that will cut out days kind of thing so I know that some of the things will get scrunched and if nothing else three weeks but I'm thinking two and a half weeks at tops um, and maybe one day with some of the days I'll be just like hey kids can you help do this and then that can cut and it will get marked off my list as being done because then it will rotate back around. And so this way, at least I know that once in a while, those things are getting cleaned. So that's my new list for that. My other thing is zones and the daily chores or the weekly chores comes before zones. So like if I have the capacity to do weekly chores, I'll do that. If I later had the capacity to do a zone, then I might work in that. Depends on the zone tasks, because some of them are harder than others. Cleaning off the range hood was disgusting, but so needed. So um, that one took a few days. Uh, yesterday for my zone, I actually um, deleted all the files on a computer got that reset so that we can get rid of it. Um, and today we did another one so that the kids could use it because it was having a lot of problems. We just cleaned it out, reset it, and hopefully it works better for everybody. Um, we have one more computer to do that too so that hopefully we can use that for school again. Um, I divided my zones up a little differently. I'm gonna look really quick. How many zones do I have? I have 13 zones. Now, if you follow the fly lady, you know that fly lady has five. She follows a calendar. Um, you've got your, I know the hall entryway, the entryway, dining room I think is in with it, is covers however short or long the first week over the month is. and So she has this way. I've tried, I can't do it. It drives me crazy to think about all of the rooms that aren't getting done. I tried many different things. And so what I'm doing is dividing my week. Three days um, on one zone, three days on another zone. And so for 13, what was that, six and a half weeks? 
to get through all of the zones and then I just start over again. Um, if like say my zone was the bathroom, I did the zone on Thursday, I washed a wall because it was pretty gross and I washed off, I washed as high as I can reach so there's like this space above it that's not. And I was going to clean it the next day because I was going to pull out my thing but Friday was the day I got sick. And then Saturday, I was also sick, so I actually only did one day in that zone, and that's okay. I still moved on. And that's one of the problems I've had with making zones in the past, is my brain will hang me up and say, but you didn't do anything in that zone that week. You need to go back to it. And I'm just telling myself, nope, I missed my zone, oh well. So this, today's Friday? Yesterday was the front room zone, which is why I did a computer. Today is the front room zone, um, which is why I'm trying to clean up computers so that they're usable or we get rid of it. Like, I don't care what we do with it, let's take care of it. Are we gonna use it? Then let's use it. Are we going to let go of it? Then let's find a way to get rid of it. And then um, I do have, I have these blinds, they're super gross, I'm trying to clean up. So that's what I'm doing for that zone. And then next Monday, Monday is working in the boys' rooms. So I move on. And even if I don't do anything more today or tomorrow, I move on. And I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see how this helps because at least I'm working a little bit. I am trying to do a little bit of decluttering. Um, Modified Dana K. White's Take It There kind of system. I completely understand her, the point of her system, but because of physical reasons, I know she hates this, but I have to make piles. And I'm just like, I know that I need to work in a way that physically I can be able as well. So I have to give myself time. And I. It, it just is what it is. But I like the, I, the questions that she asks. If I needed this, where would I look for it? It's super powerful. And helped me decide that some of the things that I had in one place needed to get moved. Because I was like, if I even needed these, where would I look? And I was like, over there. And so I was able to take those there. I hope that makes sense. I hope that these are not too boring. Um, last time I looked, I had 340 something subscribers. I want, I want to get to 400 guys. I really do. How many subscribers do I have? 344. I have 344. Um, I am trying to I'm coming up with a way. I'm probably going to do a gift card because that's the easiest for me right now. Um, although shipping a package stateside would probably be just the same price or cheaper if I wanted to let go of some of my yarns. So maybe I'll do that. So I'm either going to do a gift card or a yarn giveaway when I get to 400 subscribers. But guys, that's 56 subscribers away. What will it take for us to get 56 subscribers? Probably for me to stop complaining about my life, right guys? I need to plant those. I'm gonna go get them. It's my plants. They are plothos, I think that's what they're called. Um, look at those roots, guys. They want dirt. They've got so much roots. They're so pretty. I'm expecting they probably will start vining out. This looks like a fairly young little leaf there. But yeah, they need to get planted in some dirt. But I'm pretty excited. Um, the, the mama plants, they're all doing amazing. I'm so excited. I love my plants. Wait, is my light not on? <gasps> Oh no, I had to reset my timer on my lights. I'm guessing one of the kids unplugged it and didn't 
let me know so it ends like reset um if it gets unplugged or the power goes out it resets all the timer so the lights don't go on for my lovely plants um i have some in my bathroom with a little fairy garlic garden theme and i just love makes me so happy the way i've decorated my bathroom makes me so happy um probably for the first time in my life i've gotten to um make a space feel like what i would want it to feel like and that is really refreshing um i definitely don't have that in all of my house but i'm working on it and it's exciting and so yeah Anyway, um, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to hold this. I'm hoping that we continue to get improvements in my life. I will tell you, I have gone through some pretty angry moments with God. Um, I have felt betrayed. I have felt like he's broken promises. And it's been really, really hard. And I'm struggling today. Honestly, bringing myself to make this video was hard. I have been struggling with depression. I have my mystery yarn box down here. It came in the mail today. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I should open that. I like the excitement for it. It's not there. Hello. That is one of my most favorite things. Why? That's how things are. It's so frustrating right now. It's so hard and I've made progress in some things and it feels like backslides in others and I just, when, when it's hard for you to even bring yourself to working on your yarn projects because things are feeling that discouraging you know, there, things are pretty bad. And that's where I've been lately. It's been hard for me to be making myself... I mean, the fact that I have to make myself work on things is really sad. I just... I, I'm like, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to do anything. So, that's where I'm at right now. It's pretty... Pretty grim. I really, really hope that next week I have amazing news for you guys. For now, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they may be. Knitted socks with funky toes, or maybe you're a gardener. Uh, whatever they may be, let your light shine, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!